new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you family and friends gathered to say their goodbyes saturday to a pregnant mother of five who was murdered allegedly by her boyfriend celebration of life viewing for 28 year old shatterika anderson was held at the community of faith church in pinemont Anderson's funeral will be held Monday in Mansfield, Louisiana. Anderson was killed in November in her Springs home as her five children were asleep. She was harmed four times. Her longtime boyfriend, Johnny Ray Laundrie, is charged in her murder, but he still hasn't been arrested. Laundrie was out on bond and accused of making a terroristic threat towards Anderson. In 2016, he was also charged with assaulting her. However, that case was dismissed. This is why whenever I can, whenever I do stories like this, I've always tried to advocate for black women and, you know, trying to tell, you know, black women, hey, you know, self-defense or, you know, get some uh, firearms training, get your license to carry. Um, because you got individuals like this. And the difference is this wasn't just like it was some random dude off the street. This was her common law partner this is somebody that she was with since uh what about like 2013 that they stated in the article and then on top of that she was uh an sa survivor and she wanted to also advocate for women and you know somehow some way she ended up running into you know this guy and they ended up being in a relationship and he ended up fathering you know some kids and then later on after 2013 some three years later uh in 2016 he decided to commit to some terrorist threats towards his you know for all intents and purposes his wife the mother of his kids and then he was let out on a bond and he was free and he's been free ever since and then he decided to basically commit this act here and he's still out there on a the run now you know like i told people before if people are innocent they're not going to be running this man is not innocent. This is not, like I said before, he he has gone after her before. They have they have had some, you know, some incidences or at least eight incidents uh, before. So this is not the first go. And the main thing I sit up there and tell women is that at any point in time, like a guy is willing to basically, um, you know, go after you physically, then there's no limit to what he is, you know, not going to do. It's only a matter of time. It's only a few steps before he's going to take, you know, that initial step and do exactly what, you know, what he did here to his wife. Like I said, he didn't care. He he had whatever he felt directly in his mind basically made up and whatever love that he used to basically have for her, maybe at the beginning, that was gone. Like I said, I, I feel like that love or whatever he basically initially had for her, that was gone when he first decided to raise his hand. And it was especially going when he decided to make a threat. Like I said, it's the third step. So nobody's going to sit up there and say that these guys, there's no signs and symptoms to, you know, any of these guys just like magically doing this. There's always something. There's always something like said in the heat of the moment. There's always something mentioned in an argument. There's always a look that they will sit up there and give. There's always a pullback on emotion like th there's always a, a lot of things that take place because a lot of people always sit up there and say like oh well you know guys they'll just randomly just do this like it just it just happened without a warning sign no there's always signs just like there's signs for when night turns into day and day turns into night it's signs it happens gradually over time the same thing with cancer nobody just gets stage four cancer instantly it's like, hey, I was just sitting up here just jogging. Bow, stage four cancer. That's not how that happens. That's not how that happens. And even if that were the case, there's a reason that that set up there and happened. So now you got to sit up there and go back, you know, look at the medical history and be like, all right, what took place here? Right? What was added in that allowed this growth to basically form? Right? 
what was added in to have this man, you know, basically take the life of his wife, somebody who he is the father of her children. And he did this while they were sleeping. He did this to her while she was asleep because he stated in an article that it didn't, it looked like she didn't even put up a struggle. That's because she was asleep. Like I said, that lets you know how much of a coward this man is, right? He couldn't even allow her the ability to even try to fight for her life. He just did it when she felt safe. And people don't even realize it, but when you sleep, that is one of the most, other than you being like sick, like very ill, being asleep is when human beings are at their utmost vulnerable because you don't know what's happening. That one dream that you're having could end up being a forever dream because you don't know what's happening, you know, on the outside. You don't know if somebody is coming into your home. You don't know what's taking place. Right. Like I said, that's how much of a coward he and many other men like him is. And like I said, this is why I advocate so hard whenever I sit up there and do a lot of videos like this. I try to tell black women like, yo. I need y'all to sit up there. Y'all need to start choosing better. Y'all need to sit up there and start picking better. If at any moment in time a dude is like, yo, I'm about to raise my hand toward, it's time to go. It is time to go. Like I said before, she got kids. If it was just her, it's completely different. All right, that's her life. It is what it is. If she want to wait it out, she want to see if things will change, fine. You can sit up there and do whatever it is that you want to sit up there and do with your life. But when it comes to you being a woman, and you got kids, it's more than just you on the table now. You got to sit up there and save your life, not only for you, but for those kids, because they can't defend themselves against him. You are literally, he, he no longer counts as defense for the kids. You are the only line of defense. Like I said, for a lot of women out here, y'all just got to run. Pack up whatever little bit that you got. Get like an Uber. Get a Lyft get a taxi, whatever you have to sit up there and do and leave at the dark, leave at dark 30, leave at the darkest point of night and get far away. Get to some family members that you know or some friends that you know will never allow him to even get anywhere close where he already know if the, if he shows up, it's going to be a problem. He don't want those problems because cowards like him ain't prepared to sit up there and actually fight with people that's ready to fight. He ain't ready for that. This is why he went after her when she was asleep, because he wasn't he, he wasn't ready for that fight. That's how weak he is, because that's not a man. That's not anything that a man does. A man is not going to sit up there and raise his hand to a woman. And a man is not going to sit up there and take the life of a woman. Like I said, like, I'm, I'm tired of, like, having to do stories like this because they just should not occur. They shouldn't. Like I said, I, 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 I want 100%. I need your black woman. I need y'all to really start sitting down and just looking at all of the choices that you have made in men and count your lucky stars that you dodged a lot of bullets. Because I don't really think a lot of black women actually even really understand or know how blessed and lucky they are compared to a lot of other women that weren't in those circumstances where they didn't get a chance to dodge that bullet. Like I said before, and hopefully if y'all got kids and y'all been through relationships like this, hopefully you sitting up there teaching your sons and your daughters. Hopefully you are informing your sons and your daughters about any and all of these incidences, these relationships that you've been through with men like this. In hopes that with that education, with that knowledge, with them being warned, that, you know, they in turn won't either be in the same relationship or act on the same nature that they saw somebody perform on you. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.